If you don't know this man, Laurent de Brunhoff, you're easily forgiven. But the chances are you do know Baba the Elephant, one of cartoon history's most famous characters. Laurent grew up with Baba stories invented by his mother, and one day his father provided the drawings to match. My mother used to tell my brother Mathieu and me the story of the little elephant. A hunter kills his mother and he flees to the city where he dresses up like everyone who lives there. This story fascinated us and we told our father who was a painter and who came up with the drawings. That was in 1931 in France. Within a couple of years there were British and American editions of Baba. When his father died, Laurent took over, inventing and drawing more and more Baba stories. After the war, Baba first hit the TV screen. Today, 13 million Baba books have been sold in 27 languages. They include a slice of French culture, of good taste, an art de vivre that is attractive to foreigners and somewhat reassuring. And Baba is a good-looking elephant man. Now a new Paris exhibition retraces the story of the Baba images from early sketches to 3D animation. The little elephant still attracts children, but also their parents, who look back to their own childhood with nostalgia. It's a family story with a king who is good and kind, without being stupid. The simple, happy, easy side of families. I like this simple story with solid lessons, beautiful cartoons and real drawings. And 80 years on, Baba, the elegant little elephant, seems to be looking forward to a long future.